Hello YouTube, this is Milky Ways. This is going to be a video on my plugin called Skull Walls. And basically I'm going to be demoing it on my development server. Just show you guys the tutorial pretty much. Um, the next video I think I'm going to make will be a, uh, a, a live demo. Actually, I could just show you guys the live demo right now. Here it is right now. Uh, there we go. This is what it looks like pretty much uh, normally. I set up another wall over here for the donators. When you click them, it shows their name. All that stuff's configurable. Sucks to leave them. Anyways, well, uh, let's enlarge this. Alright, so basically, I set up uh, some skulls, right? This is player skull. Normally it says Steve, but I manually set them to player. Alright. So this four blocks will be our our uh, makeshift skull wall. Now what you gotta do is the default the default tool, the keyboard cuboid tool cuboid cuboid tool would be this wooden shovel here. Uh, it's configurable in config obviously. Now what you do is you just left click that, bound one left click that skull create demo online alright so it says successfully created a skull wall tells you the name uh, the type it's online which means as people log in and out it gets updated live there's another uh, type called banned and as people get banned like if they're online then they get kicked and it, after they get kicked they get set to ban which is how you get banned uh, it updates with it updates the wall with the player, and uh, there's another one called custom where you can whitelist people manually using the skull whitelist wall player. Um, and as the, if those people are online, it automatically puts them in the wall, but just not everybody. So that's pretty neat. It also works by using their permission too, so you can have a group completely get added to a certain wall. Basically, there's a lot of custom customizability in this plugin, and also you guys may have noticed that the skulls are properly aligned. Uh, I just fixed this in version 1.3 that I uploaded like five ten minutes ago. Basically, I had to. What it does is it gets the direction, which is the first uh, byte data, and then it gets the rotation and then it sets the rotation for the, for the whole wall. This can be useful because, I mean, as much as you could easily just manually build the wall, some people have, you know, like 200 slot servers, and, you know, I would like to support that because placing 200 skulls is not exactly fun. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Um, let's, this command I just added, skull add, notch so it adds it sets his skin to notch um who else let's see if someone has a skin whose name is demo no nope. huh this will be hard youtube nobody come on don't these people have skins Alright, well let's just do high three rules. I know that guy. So when you click it, it shows their name. Also, I f this is another bug I fixed. It used to say Steve. Now, it, now it's fixed. Uh, this is where I do all my development, really, on this server. Uh, you probably see some more walls over there. I was actually working on a project where you build a wall and then as it goes by like goes this one this one this one this one it changes the skin so it goes through the entire wall slot by slot and pauses in between 
so it slowly updates in it and you can create uh you know patterns and stuff that will probably be an extension plugin i will be implementing soon it uh it it was doing it asynchronously and it was doing it well until it crashed the server so it's not reliable obviously because it's you know setting the data and stuff for blocks and even though when a block gets updated it sets it to, it sets it to air and then it calls the skull and it places it back again so that's a tutorial in game now let's uh let's show you the, the files that it creates this is the walls these are the non custom walls which would be the online and the band. I'm not quite sure why I uh, separated them in hindsight. At the time it seemed like a good idea, but it kind of ran into problems eventually, but it's fine. I think because I didn't want to add the whitelist, because in custom walls there's a special whitelist attached to it. Let's look at the config. Oh, I forgot to demonstrate this. How much time do we have left? Alright, I have like three minutes. Um, basically, I set these this is the default you can add more by just going like this like um, derp that means nothing it's just the name set the tool command it runs this command and then the permission needed to actually execute this command so nobody can just right click assign or right right click a skull it's actually left click but whatever All right, um, let's see. Let's get some fire. Or, no, let's get this. All right, so if I wanted to ban Notch, I just right click. If I want to pardon him, even though that command doesn't exist in vanilla, unban, ban. So this is really useful. Uh, should I ban myself? Yeah. See, so it, uh, you can tell it actually works. Now, pretty much the it's endless to what you can do, as you can change the actions, you can change the messages, you can change the keyboard tool, and when it says that is, uh, it actually is blank skull, because if there's no owner, then it's actually, it says blank. What it does is it replaces that with a name. You can change it to, like, Steve-O. default skins would say Steve -O, so that's how it works um that's pretty much it I mean I uh, hope you guys enjoy the plugin I plan on actively supporting it uh, I'm surprised that I've gotten a ton of tickets or support tickets the past couple uh, days which I'm extremely happy for because I would like to perfect this plugin I want it to be used I want to support it um let's see Let's look at all the tickets. So people made four tickets, I fixed them all, except this one. The guy was just doing something wrong. Anyways, so uh, that wraps this up. I hope you guys enjoy the plugin.